<laughs> toasty, toasty ass, ass motherfucking yeah. Gabby. <laughs> what did I do? Oh my god. Are we back? All right. After that commercial break, <laughs> I, I, I lost my popcorn. Where's my popcorn? No, I'm just kidding. Please enjoy the white cheddar popcorn that was not freshly popped. Um, so we are going to dabble in some current events, recap last week's scandal that I just finished watching, and we are going to show, share our predictions for next week's scandal as we mourn the end of the show. Because it's such an amazing show that we don't want it to ever end. We are going to celebrate the end of this show. I have a different opinion. Why? Wait till we get there. Okay. Okay. So, we are going to start with the mayor of Nashville confessing to her extramarital affairs. What are we feeling about this? Because I know how I do. With her bodyguard. With her bodyguard. Okay, first of all, who's surprised? Right. Are isn't, we, that, isn't that happened? Most like... See, Isn't oh, that part of the contract? Right. Like, let's... When, let's the revolutions don't get us. When, when does Hillary Clinton have one of these scandals come out? When, when does Condoleezza have... Like, these women, especially Condi, who hasn't been married, nope. doesn't, you know, sing with a boyfriend, a, a man friend, or nothing. Nothing. Like, you're telling me Secret Service sex dolls are on deck... <laughs> Are on <laughs> and you telling me she ain't boned one through 50 of these niggas? Probably like, not, to be honest. Because, I mean, not to get back to scandal, but look how long it took for Melly to get some. That's TV. We're talking real life. We Based talking in real That's like, hey, man, uh, this kitty is purring. What's, which one of you? How much one of you sharpshooters? How about you? How about you, Annie Oakley? You, so, bang, bang? I don't know. I don't find it hard to believe. Oh, All right, wait. let's hear it. <laughs> Tanisha says, uh, W was Condi's boo thing. W. Yes. W. w. Yes. I, I <laughs> That's always, disturbing I on always, so many levels. I always believed that. I, I just did. That they might be so why he coming for Michelle. Oh, yeah, because he was. Oh, he, he loves oh, Michelle. Oh, he loves Michelle. So, he was look. probably trying. He tried it. He tried it. But he the, tried you know, it. the funny thing is his wife is Mexican. Like, that's the thing. Like, his wife is Mexican? Yeah, she's, she's, she's Mexican. She's not white. They, Does she know that? Huh? Does she know that? Laura? But I can see it, though. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they just, okay. they always try to get the closest thing because they know they can't marry who they want to marry. Mm-hmm. And Unless you're Prince Harry. Oh, man. No, no, he got as close as he could because he couldn't get a Serena, girl. Yeah, he, he wanted a Serena. Yeah, he, did. <laughs> he probably he, did want a What yeah. y'all niggas want? <laughs> she got him right one. Right here with me. She uh, got him. Uh, she got her one. Who? He got her yeah, she billion. did. She riding that Caucasian millions. And Prince Harry was like, ah, me too. <laughs> Janet had one, but he was brown. No, Janet had a plan. No, she did. She was like, control! (laughs) (laughs) Janet had a plan. (laughs) She had a schedule. And right on time, she cut. She did. She had my prison sentence over. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Pay me. Went on tour. Made more money. (laughs) Do we think that maybe Hillary did it, Condoleezza did it, but they just weren't as messy? Or it's just not? Listen. I think this is kind of like what happened with um, Al Franken. Where, what party is she in? Let's. What party is she? In? Anybody knows? No. No, because she's irrelevant. They're only bringing this up because all the men are in trouble. So I don't know who I she is. I bet you cash money. She's a Democrat. That would make sense. I bet you cash money. That. She's a Democrat. And it just seems that liberals are falling on their swords and being mm. exposed. And, you know, like, mm-hmm. it's just, mm-hmm. it's bizarre. Is this it's, to counter all of the hatred that the current administration is getting? Is that why liberals are falling on their swords right now? Yes. Do we need... They're trying to, they're trying to prove themselves for the next next election that we are the ones that stood up to this movement. Uh, the, the, the liberals right, are playing right, right. a smart game right now because all the people that's on the fence, especially women, they're like, mm-hmm. look, well, they did not care about you at all. They, right. None of them supported me, right. too. We, we eliminated all these people from our, our ranks 
from high places uh-huh. because of we this. handled it. Yeah, we it's handled. been handled. I, I think, and and here's the thing: uh, they lost white women. They lost yeah. white women, You're right? Mm-hmm. Handedly, and I think that there's going to be so many that will move over. We're going to desensitize the yeah. situation. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, but that's how we roll. Yeah, but I still just want to ask you all: like, come on, now you two are women. Like, if you're telling me you have power. <laughs> First of all, is when we have power. Yeah, yeah. If I got power, I'm going to be a little this one, a little reckless. Amorosa over here. Yes. Hey, hey, hey! Don't don't put that on on this one. She don't mind. Don't put Listen. Don't put my little Momo on this little ho ho. Don't. First don't of all, that. don't put Momo on my ho ho. Take ho-ho that back. On my Momo. Take it back. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> Take that back. Okay. Yeah. I, I, listen, I'm gonna be. Is classy. Is she? She's on Big Brother now. She leave the White House and go to Big Brother. Is she classy? Is it a check? Is so, a check? She false. couldn't find nothing else. Was Omarosa getting it behind the same curtain as Liv and Fitz? No. With mm-hmm. Trump? Mm-hmm. No. With Trump? She's no. Like, no way. Excuse me, Mr. President. If you don't get your tiny hands <laughs> holding that even tinier penis away from me, <laughs> thank you. Wait till the book comes she out. She said, if you don't get your <laughs> filthy paws off these silky drawers. Off these silky drawers. <laughs> Oh, okay. you pull that it's... crap with a net? <laughs> yes. Yes. I can't. I can't do it. I'm so here for it. Okay. All right. So, if I had the power, honestly, no. What? Mm-mm. And if I do do it, then I am going back to Gary, back to Indy to find somebody in the hood you to get it done with. No, because they not going to out me. You go find somebody you know. You can still find people that ain't go out you. I don't trust help. them. Listen. You don't trust these people that can be bought. I'm in the I, Oval Office. You go Listen. back to the hood. I'm, I'm doing whatever I want. And it's going to come back and bite you. That's just fine. Like bite but I'm bit it first. She's smarter. Because that's what happened with Tiger Woods. He should have went. Listen. Listen. You go. This is the thing that I don't like about all of them, right? Hip-hop artists, actors, they keep banging the same chick, Right? And y'all yeah, right, know all she's doing is getting telltale information. Right in the so book. She can, right. You know what I mean? Go to the hood and go make you one. I got into it with a really good friend of mine. I was like, why y'all all want Ambrose? Nigga, do you say it about this chicken hat? I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You're missing my point. If you got that type of clout and money, go to the hood. Pull, go create a new chick. Nobody ain't had. No, I'm serious. Build a bitch. Put it. Make her eyebrows up, her <laughs> hair, and, be, and put her out there. They're like, man, he be finding these, where he be finding these chicks in the hood? Do you know what you're missing? You know what point you're missing? What's the point I'm missing? They are not going after Amber Rose because she's bad, she's beautiful, she got this and she got that. They are going after Amber Rose because everybody else has had, that's why they're doing it, because that she gross. has had everybody else, and they're hoping that by sleeping with Amber Rose, they're going to get their twister on, and she's going to make them a star. That's why they sleeping with Amber Superhead. Amber Rose? Superhead. Amber Rose. All Karen? of them. Like, I need to make it to the book. What? They need to make it in the book so then they can be relevant. That's why they're doing it. Well, hey. Mo-Pow I have a mediocre you. career. Let me sleep with her. Offset. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nah, he made it. Oh, that's a little. Cardi different. B is on her way. Cardi Let me B. jump on this train and keep it going. Go ahead, Reg. Uh, I, I think Offset <laughs> made a nice decision because they were pretty much neck and neck. Yes. Uh, Cardi wasn't where she was at. Right? So when when they got together. Right. No, you're right. right. So do, is it a political relationship? I, I feel I, like people do this and just don't call it that anymore. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a business move. Beyonce and Jay Z. Kanye and Kim, Offset and Cardi. It's just a political relationship. Well, you gotta think though, when you're in that situation, they're from the hood. They're not meeting too many people that relate to them. Yeah. And there's new. I'm the trap Selena. So now when you see each other, it's mm-hmm. like I can be myself around. Oh, yes. mm-hmm. she shouldn't be herself around nobody. And it was really. Let's be really honest here. That's the reason why Whitney chose Bobby. Yes. That is very true. That is the reason. It backfired, but that is the no, reason. No, it didn't, it didn't it, backfire. It didn't because Whitney introduced all that to Bobby. Y'all got that oh. twisted. Eddie was Eddie and her were together, and he was like, I can't deal with Whitney. She too much. You know, Eddie don't do drugs. He, he, I don't even think he drinks. And, you know, she called him names and stuff. And, you know, she got with Bobby because Bobby knew how to party. But she was like, hey, nigga, you finna. Hey, hold on. Let me show you. No, let me show you this real quick, Bobby. You know how to do that. Mm-hmm. 
So, yeah. the reason that this Nashville mayor coming out with her, her bodyguards, yeah. why is this happening? Why are we hearing about this? Just like I said, it's, I, I think if I knew what party she was in, I, I would have a much more yeah. definitive, mm -hmm. uh, I would stand So she's that. a part of the theory, the running theory is that she's a part of the narrative of the liberals being humbled. Yeah, that they're, that, you know, they're falling on their own swords and stuff like that. So that's, that's just my thought. I don't, you know, I so, don't have anything more than just um, sacrificial lamb. Sorry for you. Um, okay, so similarly, this what, this Democrat. I'm, she is Democrat. Boom, boom, boom. Touche. Boom. Touche. Man, she had an expensive affair using taxpayer dollars. Ain't that heck? Where is um, Olivia? Wait, now that's interesting. Now I'm going to say something else now. Uh -oh. now somebody... $33,000 of government money on their travel expenses over the last 10 months. Listen, they was having a good she time. She was in love. 10 months? She was in love. That's she was risking months? it all. 10 months, $33,000. And it, it went to guard. Paris and Athens. It was a bodyguard. She was traveling for her personal reason, Ooh. and he just happened to be there. For a mayor? Yeah. Nashville. Wait a minute. A mayor? And Nashville, this chick though. said she don't think she improperly misused money. Okay. All right, Move next. <laughs> she wasn't ready to be the mayor. Ooh, these white folks, boy, they could do, listen. Do whatever. If it was one of us. At the stake. If it was one of us. Oh, my God. Hey, What'd you hey, say? Hip hop mayor. <laughs> hip hop mayor. Yep. Yep. So, how about y'all president and his um, pre-election affairs, his his stormy Daniels encounter during his election? Mm. We still ain't got enough to get rid of him. No. What do we need? You need him raping somebody. You, I'm trying. Keep telling y'all. Y'all need Trump on raping camera. someone on, on camera. camera, like violent. No, I, I think that I think that if the Russian, if if we had something that really linked him to it, like what got Nixon out of office, was him actually being rolled over by his co-conspirators. Uh, in the Watergate scandal that they, they didn't pay one of those guys. He's like, wait a minute now. Hold on. Y'all supposed to pay me. Mm. And they didn't. So we and, need somebody on payroll to turn. And and that's where, I'm going to be honest. You know, y'all know I cape for Omarosa. You know, uh, I may or may not have known her in real life. But can he though? Tanisha commenting. Tanisha. Oh, okay. um, but <laughs> that I wanted her to come out legitimately and be like, uh, I know where the bodies are buried. And then everybody, everybody that was black, everybody that was on the, that hated her, be like, oh man, she was a, she infiltrated. She, and that would have been enough for me to like her. Yeah. I, but you know, I don't, she's going on television. She's going back to reality television. So it's showing us this whole she election is like, who wants to be president? You're the winner. That's what this whole thing nice feels like. Nice comments on here. Yes. Tanisha Numerpua said that jacket the revolution is wearing is fly, by the way. Uh, she said, if you're going to do dirt, you got to find somebody who has more to lose than you. Always. Starla K. Mathis says, build a bitch. Ha! Build a man. Uh, oh, and she said, yes, it's a business move. <laughs> Uh, she, Tanisha Numerpua said, I'm not touching that Omarosa comment. <laughs> I've touched more than just the comment. And then he woke up, and yeah, all okay. he could do. Okay. Keep playing these games. It was watch I, Big Brother. I come out with this tell all book, okay? Huh? Huh? He said, come on back to him. I ain't said all that now. I just... Yeah, he ain't say all that. He ain't say all that. <laughs> okay. So, what's your president doing? <laughs> What's your president doing? He tripping. This is got like, listen, Reg, we know the phrase. He is who we said he is. Like we have on tape that the guy said, you know what you do? You just walk up to him. I just don't even wait. I just kiss him. You know, they love that sort of thing. And, and that's not enough. I just hey, I just turn around and I grab him by the pussy. It's completely normal. They love it. He's a you cute. can do anything that you want to do. 
Like, I mean, it's, what are we talking about? Like, this dude has been a pig mm-hmm. for a pig. Yeah, yeah his, his entire, and we elected a pig, so I guess it is hard to get him out of office. Entire, mm-hmm. exi- like, I don't know. But what cracks me up, I saw these women on CNN, these bleach bottle blonde old white bitties, and one Latina. She either was a Latina or she was a Filipino who was trying to sneak in and, and work her way towards white. And she, she was she so the one. Dark. And then her hair, I was like, you tried it. You she tried it. You ain't one of them. Stop it. And she, they was talking about some prayer group in Dallas who prays for their president. And once he accepted Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus uh, as his savior, then all his sins were white. I mean, they, like it's so funny to me how these people – you know, they Americans say he's forgiven anything. for his sins, but Hillary should go to jail and rotten hell for an email. Like, it's it's bizarre, but it's Paul Mooney once said, white people get to do whatever they want to do. He said they can change mm-hmm. stuff overnight. He said they can play victim. When they want, oh, I can't change anything. I don't know what you're talking about. And then they can go out and do the nastiest stuff they want to. They, 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 mm-hmm. It's amazing to me how even woke whites really don't even see their own privilege. Like, they they just don't see how real it is. Mm-hmm. How deep the rabbit hole goes. Yes, like, mm-hmm. they don't get it. Like, you're given the... Listen, I, we all saw uh, Dylan Ralph be taken out of a car with an automatic... A loaded, with mm-hmm. rounds in the chamber, automatic mm-hmm. weapon. They stopped and, and talked him out of it. Mm-hmm. They put a bulletproof vest on him. They handcuffed him in front. Right. They took him to Burger King. They treated him. He was walking around with a smile on his face. Right. Mm-hmm. This little girl, twelve years old, who just shot up a school. The police had his arm yes. around yes. her. Yes. With her handcuffs on. With her handcuffs. like they yes. take care of each other. They, are, you know, we just saw that the the woman who didn't get hit with a hate crime on Chesney's story earlier. Like right. it's time and time again. They had a white boy who date raped some girl at a dumpster in college. A black kid got put in a similar situation, not date raping about a dumpster. He got accused. He got 15 years. Yeah. This guy got probation. Right. Like, and I, it's so, it's yeah. very exhausting. It is exhausting. To always try to show these people out here what you're talking about. And they love to say, yeah. you know, oh, it's not like, yes, it is It absolutely like that. is. It is like that. You know, I... I have literally been in the car. I'm not making this up. I've been in the car with J. Cole multiple times. I'm not making this up where he was the driver. They pulled him over for a driving violation. And you know what they did? They came around there to me and asked me for my license. I was like, excuse me, officer. I'm not, I'm not driving. Don't have one. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> I wasn't there. Oh, you wasn't there? Yeah, she no. wasn't there. I wasn't I've there. Been trying, I've been trying all oh, night to tell, tell this story. story. Listen, I've been oh, missing this story, so we about to all get the, it. Uh, police stuff, because I don't know if, we, if we're if we violating, you know, something that messes it up for them. For us yeah, case. we probably should have a conversation right, with where the case is Next before week. we, you know. Okay. Yeah, we should. Yeah, but it's, it's Trump being Trump. So is it me, or does it feel like, at this point, we are being taunted by the government and the media and everybody that supports this white privilege, I feel like at this point they are shoving it in our faces that they can do this. Oh. Like, it's not its not even the normal white privilege. They are going above and beyond to say, oh, you yeah. can't do shit. Yeah. Like, they are getting, like, taking them to Burger King and then that being public and, like, right. And taking pictures of it. They like, are just fucking with us. And putting those I'm sorry. pictures out. No, 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 you're right. I, but I think it started around the Obama administration. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I got yeah. arrested to go vote. And I'm in the car and I was told ain't no nigga gonna be my president. I remember. Yeah. You know, and I was tased on my own property. It was it was recorded. Uh, I had my hands up. I said I'm not resisting. I still got tased. I got put in the mud. I got arrested. And I went to court. The, the charge was disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. And I was like, but how was I being disorderly on my own property? I didn't do anything. You know what I mean? Right. They dropped that. I still got hit with resisting. The judge had the video. And it was like. Who recorded it? 
uh, my cousin. So what what did they say about the video? Did they he just saw it and said I don't care? He he watched it, then he was like, I'm gonna go to my chambers. He he watched it in private, and then he came back like he he knew he knew he, that it was knew. gonna ruin it. He knew that's and, messed and, up. Like, and on the but you should have read the police report. He he looked armed. He looked dangerous. He I, looked armed. Listen, how do you I was look legitimately armed? Legitimately wearing jogging clothes. I was jogging, and then the police officer. I, I'm not making this up. He literally had just arrested an older white woman. He, I'm not making this up. They had the paddy wagon. They arrested her. Mm-hmm. He sat mm-hmm. her down. He gave her a cigarette in a chair. He was real nice to her. He gave her a cigarette. No, I'm serious. He gave her a cigarette. And then I was watching as I came back from jogging. The guy left in his car. He, he came down the street. He stopped. Just don't feel right unless he it's a person of color in the car. He turned around and came back. Can I get your uh, ID? And I was like, For jogging? how you doing, officer? Uh, my name is such and such such and such. How may I help you? He he just kept persistent. And I was like, I don't have my ID on me. I've been jogging. You know, and I was on the phone with my friend. She said, don't hang up on me. You know, I want to hear everything. And he just kept going. And he said, what's your social? I gave it to him. I said, I gave it to him. Oh, you want to be an asshole? Because he said I said it too fast. So then I was like, three, zero. Okay. Oh, you want to be an asshole? Yeah. Then it was, <laughs> nothing I do Mm-mm. was good enough for this man. And... Then once I got tased and handcuffed, he said, why did you do that? You don't have uh, any record. You don't have a warrant. Why did you Why did you behave like that? I said, I didn't do anything, man. I didn't curse at you. I gave you everything that you asked for. And it's like, it's really sad to me because, you know, I have white friends. I have white, fam- white, white family members. My like blood white. family mm. members. You know what I mean? I am, what, how many, how much, what's my percentage of? Caucasoid? Ancestry.com. Uh, it was like 20%. 20 something. 26. Yeah, yeah it was percent. like 26. It's almost 30% Caucasoid, you know? And I said Caucasoid twice. That happened. I mm-hmm. did. Twice. Uh, and I don't have, like, nobody, and this is the thing, right? Black Straight people Kool-Aid. do not hate white people. Not at all. We really don't care. We really just want to be left, left alone. alone. Coexist. You know, no, we just want to be left leave alone. Leave us alone. Like leave us. We don't go alone. Exist. Leave us alone. Like you all don't have no stories of us coming into y'all neighborhoods and rioting and tearing up. Anytime that stuff happens, happens in black neighborhoods. We tear up our own stuff. We mm-hmm. tear up y'all stuff. So just mm-hmm. leave us alone. Y'all tear up y'all stuff. Y'all win a sporting event and y'all tear up y'all shit. And that's like, fine. That's, that's your car. You said it on your car. Do you let us do us? Yes. Let us. So have is our this own back to yes. Black Wall Street? We they gonna come. They can't let it they happen. They won't let it happen. So again. it's not just you can't come into ours. No, you can't have yours either. Mm-hmm. That's right. You you that have right. to assimilate. You have to. You have to. You assimilate. have to assimilate. Like if you're. Why do you think Jay makes the moves that he makes? Why do you think all of them make the moves that they make? You know, like me and the Reggie Mantle was talking about, like, did he was talking about wanting to be an NFL owner? Like, no, go do your own A whole other league. Yeah, mm-hmm. go do, like, listen, I, I wish we had a Negro League again like we had back in the day, a Negro basketball team, a Negro baseball team. You know, like the Cotton Club where it was just mm-hmm. us. And, well, we just had our own, because I just enjoy the spaces where I don't have to be defensive all night. I'm right. wondering if something happens, they're going to come and mess with me. Like, I don't like that existence, and I don't think that, you know, white people say, well, they wouldn't say anything to you if you're not doing anything. No, no not I've true. had an existence where I've not done anything. And they still come and mess yeah. with you. They still it mess with you. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. So, I don't know. But he's just... Mm. Do you think that, you said all of this started in the Obama era. Yeah. Is it because they wanted to keep us in our place and remind us, like, you got oh, a black president, absolutely. but don't forget yes. that the rest of y'all ain't safe absolutely. and he ain't going to save you. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. You, you, you ain't whistling Dixie. That's, that's real. I still maintain that every black person, person of African descent, whatever percentage you got, mm-hmm. we need, like, cultural therapy. Like, there's going to be a whole degree that I'm going to create. Oh, Psych degree. Mm-hmm. There needs to be cultural therapy because we all need therapy. I was in McAllister's in Lafayette mm-hmm. over a weekend, and this very nice old white man came up to talk to me, and he was telling me that what Lafayette needs is a soul food restaurant. And he was like, you don't have to be a minority to enjoy soul food. And the conversation was perfectly fine. Like, he's just telling me he wants some collard greens. He had some good collard greens at... 
um, Old Charlie's and he wanted a whole soul food <laughs> Old Charlie's. Yes, and he was shocked at how good they were. But what's sad about this interaction is this nice old man was just telling me he wanted a soul food restaurant and my heart is racing. My heart is racing because I'm waiting on it. Yeah. I'm waiting on this conversation to turn left. I'm terrified that this conversation is going to turn left. How far left is it going to go? And I'm in Lafayette by my damn self. Yes. And you shouldn't have to be mm. guarded mm. and it shouldn't be trauma to that degree that you are terrified to have a conversation with somebody about your ethnicity. Yes. But it's like that. But it's daily. daily. It's, I, I tell people all the time, man, I enjoy my space. I, you know, if the Reggie Mathis, his family, and our group of friends, because we share, like, our circles of friends mm -hmm. uh, collide, and I'm like, look, man, uh, let's pick a spot to somebody's house. Let's go over there. Let's put the music on. I will cook. Somebody, <laughs> he, he can make a, a hell of a drink. Uh, and we have a good time, and we know ain't nobody going to do nothing. You know, like, I enjoy my space. And that's when I show up and show out. Like, uh, his wife, when we went that night, when we went out for that uh, joint birthday, she called me bougie. Uh, Starla K. Mathis called me bougie. Ooh, and I was like, yes, I'm not did. bougie. That's a, that's a compliment it, coming from. Well, the thing is, she said I was acting funny. <laughs> Starla said I was acting funny. And it's not that I'm acting funny. I'm in a white space, and I do not... what. Once the revolution I'm, that we get here is yeah, not the revolution no, that we I'm, get I'm in like, Broad Ripple. Am I, I'm like this. I'm, because I, for whatever reason, I have big shoulders. I have menacing eyebrows. I'm just too thick that it just looks menacing. My arms are just too big to be, you know, like my resting, I got a resting thug face. It Ooh, thug face. wait, wait, go ahead. Emerson. Oh, my God. Yes, you do have resting thug face. That's funny. <laughs> RTF. I want a resting thug face. Women don't get resting thug face. No, nah, but I got one. And it's and it's hard. It's hard, man. Like, you, you know, and so if I'm with y'all, <laughs> what? Let's hear it. said, I don't recall this. Baby, you oh was. My God. You I was, bet she don't. You no, was it was your lit. birthday. You Remember shouldn't recall. Darla, you was very lit on this evening. Oh, my goodness. She don't remember. It was I'm her she, birthday. She uh, shouldn't I'm recall sure it. she don't remember many of the things. <laughs> She was doing that evening. Happy birthday. Oh, when she was twerking on you? Yes. That was That's amazing. just one. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so glad I was sick out. this night. You know, <laughs> I, thought I did, too. And they were waiting. I me, was too. Waiting. I was like, Hashtag oh, me, too. <laughs> oh, it was going to be me. That's why he had a resting thug's face. He me was waiting on it. and ice cream. Yeah. I was in the middle. I'm more of a reddish. I'm more of a red hue. I'm more of a strawberry. After saying rest I cannot in thug face, tolerate your I existence. <laughs> <laughs> this jacket, rest in thug face, and a strawberry hue. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm going to be in the middle of it. Oh, Burton Ernie. How did I miss got this? got a round head, and she got a long one. And I was been like, oh, my God. Are there videos of this night? No. No. No evidence? No. I evidence. need to see this. How no did I miss evidence. this? We're going to recreate it. All you got to do is just pour liquor down Starla's throat. And so after just, next Thursday. Yeah, she just turns into a whole different person. She was in there like, eh, eh, eh. Was I was like, like what yeah. is happening? Like, it's like, you could have yeah. at least bought my drink first if we was going to get this close. And the Reggie Mathis was just sitting over there like, ha, yeah, whatever. So uh, I was like, what are you going to say? <laughs> oh, man, she do this all the time. <laughs> oh, God. I was, my girl was got a like, girlfriend. Oh, really? <laughs> and I always hold over there, man. Random hoes just be in the bed. I'm like, oh! <laughs> what? So, if you see a couple extra keys on one of their keychains, ah, you know what's going on. Ah, good old key party. She said, what? Clutch pearls. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll never. You did. Hooch and cooch. Hooch and cooch. That's what we call the hooch and the cooch. Hooch and the cooch. Hooch and the cooch. The get, it, get, it, get, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. You will never again have a resting thug face after this moment. And now y'all know the revolution better than you ever thought you would. <laughs> Sunset Thursday nights, you can find them. Find me. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. Onward. Onward. Um, speaking of Ain't the no ratchetness. Of <laughs> well, it's actually a perfect segue since okay. we're talking hooch and cooch down to Kim K. Oh, yeah. So. Okay. Kim Kardashian, in addition to uh, taking more nude 
pictures of herself and sharing them as if the world has not already seen everything that she's thinking. Um, <laughs> she decided to send Valentine's Day, Valentine's mm. to her friends and her family and her haters. Oh. Do people still care enough about Kim K to hate? Do we still care enough? No. We just want to know what you're going to name your kid. She's and then we're done. Again? No, Chicago. Yeah, she just named she Chicago had one, West. The one she just had. And she was not pregnant. surrogate mother. That was not invited to the bridal sh the baby shower. Yeah, the baby's name is Chicago West. Wait, Chi so West. Have how many kids now? Three. Three. There is. Wait, that's what I'm saying. Northwest. So she yeah, she just had Saint one. West and Shy West. She named that baby Chicago. I can oh, dig it. We, I can dig it. Shy West. I like it. Why are we talking about? Kim, like, let's be real. Here. I let's don't know why we're talking about like, Kim. Listen, I love that dude, man, but that nigga is gone. We, he is in. That nigga that. gone, fam. He gone. That nigga gone. Wake yo up. He's gone. He is in the fucking place. That nigga is gone. <laughs> he must he be ain't sunken. He is. It he ain't enough pegged. sex in the world. He getting pegged by OJ's daughter. They taking turns because we all know the family like. He pouring lemonade. He was the first one. Uh, oh my goodness gracious. What's his name? Cleothus? <laughs> Cleothus Kardashian? Hey, I'm Cleothus. Okay. I don't know why y'all call okay. Cleothus Chloe. Cleothus, I knew him. Cleothus. I knew him when his name was Cleothus. You knew him then? Cleothus. I knew him when he was Cleothus. Sunset. Cleothus, Cleothus O.J. Simpson, <laughs> Simpson. Jr. Simpson. And O.J. OJ Daddy was real. Get it? What is it, Trent? What, what happened? Tanisha Numa Pruitt said, "No, nobody cares about that succubus." Right. Stop. Like, <laughs> like, 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 that whole family wow. are complete oh, boy. demons. They so, are sexual. They are succubuses yes. and hecubuses and incubuses. Mom and Louis. <laughs> they are all the buses that you can have. Oh and, my God! I can't. All the buses. Uh, bus of holes. <laughs> I hate, I hate, the, like, I don't know. Very what, passionately. Yes, I hate them hoes, man. I can't do this with y'all. I, like, yeah. I hate you them can, hoes. you can. How can you get fooled by them? Like, how, mm -hmm. how do you get fooled by Kim? That's, that's the real question. Like, She's legit. She's following the, the game plan. This is the, the typical game plan that she does. She releases some photos, get the internet talking, and it, it, And we so damn stupid, we, we follow yeah, it. We, we know it now. We know it now. We, we know it now. And we still go like for books. it. Like, I wish they would at least change it up and make it interesting. Like, do something different this time. Put some clothes on and then take pictures of yourself. Mm -hmm. nope. Something. Nope. Nope. Ain't broke. So if fix it. Ain't broke. Don't fix it. Dang. Well, that's it. I'm ready to move on. <laughs> so, moving on to the actual scandal segment of the show. Oh, we doing uh, a skin Oh, no, we are not. We're moving into our game. Yeah, we're moving into our game. Yeah. Into our game. So they are going to teach me how to play apples to apples tonight. Woo! Which terrifies what me because they're probably going to tell me the wrong word. Time out. What part of the instructions, in turn, did you miss about making sure we had green cards ready and red cards ready? You know, oh, we've got... Some we green cards. There goes some green cards, but nothing's ready. Nothing's ready. Nothing's ready. It's, it's, it's not okay. It's I mean, not, I'm going to just start firing. Don't what? worry about it. I'm just going to We can't get no good help So if you're seeking an internship and you're interested in media technology, please see us at fcn.com. Okay. Please see us. Please. I, listen. If you're I interested. For it. Okay. So this is what we do. You will right? be paid so in card. resting thug faces. Yes. So you get a green card, right? All right. So if it's your turn, boom, the word is cowardly, right? Yes. So if you're guessing, right, we have to pick cards that that you would think that it's cowardly, right? Okay. And then we'll, we'll, we'll show you. It's it's like teaching somebody how to play spades for the first time, right? So Without one, the need for security. Two, let's do let's do three. Let's okay. do three. Awesome. Turn it let's back over. Three. No, let's do five so we have yeah. more options. Boop. Oh, oh. That don't matter. Boop. There you go. All right. So turn this. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. I need to look you at going this. first. So okay. you that card down. So I don't know how to play and I'm going first. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just put that card back down. No, honey, honey. There you go. There you go. Cowardly. Okay, so don't, don't he, he and I have to choose a word from our cards of what we think you would best think is cowardly. Okay. And then you'll choose. Okay. Okay? Yes. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> I don't like you already. Okay, wait. First of all, let me get myself together. This ain't cowardly. Cowardly. <laughs> ah! Ooh. Uh, oh. My head hurt. Well, mm. okay. Mm. What's that jacket? 
No, it's, it's too tight. tight. Why you always talking about everything I wear is tight? How about my body is just too big? Oh. Okay, flip He's those thick. over. Flip these up and look at them. Yes. And then in front out. of us and have a discussion out loud of okay, what so you what think. Okay, so what cars did you get? So I have, in reference to cowardly, yeah. I have paying taxes, death or taxes, do we have to choose right away? Yeah. And I have sailors. Yeah. In the Navy, you can sail the seven seas. Yes. And I'm supposed to choose the one that reflects cowardly. Yeah, the best. Yeah, which one do you yes. think reflects cowardly? I'm going to get in trouble. Let's hear it. People going to hate me after this. I'm going to say, am I ready for this? Sailors. Dang. Boom. I won the card. So I won the card. So that was because that's All the right. one I picked. It's my turn. Okay. Because I don't have to explain why. Spooky. Spooky. Now you have to pick the card. So spooky, spooky, scary, weird, or ghostly. Spooky. <laughs> Boom. You okay? Shuffle them up because I saw who put what down. My eyes closed. Okay. But you already saw. It. Okay, wait a minute. What is this? Your card. Did you need it? No, oh, thank you. All right. So Do going to school. One? Tom Hanks. School is not spooky under any circumstances. If I could be a lifelong student. I would. We got to go with Tom Hanks. Whose card is this? Okay, you win spooky. that one. Okay, you're spooky. Okay. All right. You get you a red card now. Okay, thank you. All right, now it's my turn, and the word is unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. How you bodies? Mm. Word is unbelievable, ladies. And while you figure it out, I feel <laughs> dance. <laughs> Let's dance. And he didn't even have the Kool-Aid Let flavored wine. Red shoes and dance the blues. Let's Is that your? Sing. Yes. Okay. I will shuffle it. You can stop twerking now. It's time. All right. There you go, Revolution. Ravo. Oh, okay. All right. I'm giving away too much for free. Let's see. Let's see. About to make gotta, it's like selling crack, baby. You know, I give everybody that nick. Give them a bump. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. And David Letterman. Mm, oh, that's let me tell y'all something, man. Me being a geneticist, I have genetically engineered a few superior human Robot. beings. Robots. Because I'm a geneticist. Because the DNA is for real. I can't do this. What's not believable is that bearded old white man <laughs> went to broad ripple <laughs> and the winner <laughs> is genetic engineering boom ah! unbelievable mm, thank you my card please oh yeah 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 all right. So it's my so everybody got one all right whoever gets why this you keep looking at our cards you are cheating you rainbow <laughs> So it's my time? Yeah. Yes. So whoever wins this one is the winner. Mm. Mm. Appetizing. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Appetizing. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I'm finna, I'm finna win this one. You gonna read that one out loud. Out loud. You gotta read that one out loud, what I think is appetizing. Get it. It don't even matter because you're going to know which one is mine. That's just scary. <laughs> so many levels. All right, so, all right. When it comes to appetizing, yeah. appealing, tasty, yeah. and flavorful. Oh, read it out loud. We have. <laughs> <laughs> we have Cuba. And we have black holes. All right, baby. Oh, the black holes is the The one. gravitational field of a black hole is so strong that nothing, including light, can escape its Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so... In- can escape that black hole, baby. Did I mention that we need therapy? Please, please. Put the little pixelated, oh please. <laughs> PD, please. Cuba, we're done. Cuba wins. Yay. We're done. We're done. I we're win done. the game. I'm I done. win the game. Me so too. You are Me too, people. 
appetizing. Me too. I, You're an unbelievable and appetizing. I am unbelievable and appetizing. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely accurate. And I believe black holes is appetizing. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Black holes. Ha, 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 ha. Black holes, everybody. Oh, my God. Black this holes. Is, oh this is God. the wind down. With the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never be welcome back here. Ever. Again. After pocket pussies and now. Starlight ain't gonna let you back on the show. Or everyone is gonna want you back on the show. Oh my God. So, now that scandal's over. Okay. Are we free to talk about it now? Is it over? Oh, yeah. The episode's over? Okay. Yes. One more. That was the last episode? What no, the episode about? is over. No. Oh, yeah. Why do you hate scandal? Because when did you start hating scandal? Let's let's dig into this a little bit. Um, wrapping up old boy's presidency, like it's it just it's not it's just not good. It's not good. So you think Shonda failed at? Yes, I think she failed miserably mm-hmm. at how she's doing the show. We loved scandal when it was the case of the week, and she just got deeper and deeper in a rabbit hole of B six thirteen, and it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. How many more monologues are we going to get from Papa Pope? How many? Okay. She just keeps doing the same thing over and over. Like, it's unbelievable. And I keep watching because I'm just invested. You waiting on it to get better. No, no I'm just invested to see it all the way through to, to, to the better. end. So, true or false, when she started writing for How to Get Away with Murder, she dropped Scandal. Scandal started to drop when she started writing for How to Get Away with Murder. I don't, did, she, did she actually write for them? Does she I don't write? think she really. She was more involved with runner. Scandal before How to Get Away with Murder. I believe the show started getting bad before then, but it definitely got worse when she did How to Get Away with Murder. Yeah, I feel like she devoted her attention to trying to get How to Get Away with Murder off the ground, and it was new and exciting. I have an idea. Let me just make this run. Well, somebody brought that to her, and she, she was the producer, so I don't even think it was So How idea. to Get Away with Murder? Yeah, it was just like she huh. was the showrunner. Yeah. Of it. But here's what I want to say. The first season of Scandal, what made everybody love that first season of Scandal? It was seven episodes. It was short. It was short. She told the story. She got to the point, and we all were like, "Oh man, I want more." It happened quickly. Yes, and it I was think, shocking. Things were moving fast. I think that she should have maybe doubled it. I think she should have, like, like you know, uh, Saul is better. Call Saul is ten episodes. Most oh. of these great shows now are do not exceed twelve episodes because they like, leave something to be desired. Yes, and I think that she what they the bumped up to like twenty. Still, right? It's like twenty, twenty two. You're moving into sitcom territory now. You're, you're moving into like that's where sitcoms live. Sitcoms live in twenty plus episodes, mm-hmm. and and it's hard to sustain that in a great you know storytelling. She tried. It. She tried. And, but here's what happened: season two. You and I talked about this back then. Fitz should have stayed in a coma that entire season. And we should have been seeing flashbacks of his life. Yes. Of, like in the coma. Yes. We should have been getting little information leaked and like, wait, what did that mean? What is that? And then and find out that his whole election was a fraud. Right? Yes. Then you move that into season uh three. But Right, because we would have got that white lady being acting president at that time, which would have made great story. Well, like tr- her and Millie. Yes. Her, Millie trying to keep yes. control. What is her name? And I can't think of her name. The uh, vice president. Yeah. Uh and, and then it should have been all the about the women. report. It should have yes. been it should have been about the female assassin. Yes, yes, yes. It should have yes. been about Liv. It should have been about Millie. It should have been about uh the vice president. And then it should have been about the, the one woman, the, the senator. It should have been yes. about the women. And here it is, this black woman of power in the business didn't even think to like, wait a minute, I have a, a female counterpart to everything male. Yep. Why let's don't I shut make, it down and have a season? Let's have this entire season about women can do it too. And I would have been enthralled. I wanted it because Fitz for me was... He, it wasn't anything appealing about him to me. He was a lame duck president, a, a lame duck fictional president. Yes. And how bad is that? Yes, bad. It was Damn, bad. son. Bad. <laughs> so, and for me, it just kind of, once they missed that opportunity and everything went too fast after that, and like you said, it became more about B613. 
and all this weird stuff and weird. troll. And when she got kidnapped and was oh, that she was left. left. I was, that was, like was left. left. That was once she and that whole the way they edited that and shot that it was all weird. And then your man came back. That's why I think she did that entire thing. I think she did the entire thing so she could kill her, uh, Harrison, and so that she could bring Stephen back. For like one, one episode, well, one episode not even a full episode. That was the plan, or if they, I feel like did they scramble when they had to get rid of Harrison and they didn't know what they were. Nah, she is she is accustomed to having to get rid of characters. She did it for Grey's Anatomy with Isaiah Washington, Washington and the white boy that and he George. was right and George. She's accustomed to that. That's true. So I'm like, nah, she wasn't distracted with that. She she killed George real quick and got it. Isaiah off real fast. So how do we need to wrap this up? The show? How does she It's too late. It's, it's too yeah, late. she ain't it's wrapping nothing she's up. Not, she's introduced more characters. She's introduced more MacGuffins, plot devices. She, it's just like, we're, we're talking about Quinn and this baby net. Like, it's. She should have gone out with a bang. She should have wrapped up every single character who was dead, who wasn't dead, and how where they're going and what they're doing. It, it's. But let me say this, though. Let me say this. So I asked Trezene, I said, does she have the rights? The, the, I the, remember this. The rights to her characters. Did we get this answer? Did we get this no, answer? No, the only thing I find is that they currently share it with the contract in place, but I couldn't find anything to just come out and say that she has the right to still use those characters Honestly, outside. they need to let her take them because they can't do nothing with them. Yes, they could. And this is... This I know is, what she can do with them. You think they can do that without no, her? No, 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 no. Here's the thing. They can still make money. It's, it's like, how many label deals was Pop dragging with him right. through everything that he did? Like, so, when you're an artist, you're like, no, no, you can use them characters, but we're going to get pay 25% off of everything. That, that, what was that deal that she got? And that ain't going to be worth it to her. Well, it, it is. is. No, it, it is. is. So, like, even in hip-hop, right? I remember, um, what's it, Naughty by Nature saying that they had to pay 98% royalty rate for using uh, Jackson 5's ABC mm. for uh, mm. Down With OPP. Right. And they said they would do it again. And they said that gave us a career. Because touring, you get a hit record, that you go on the road. Right. Like, all that touring money is your money. Right. Right. So I think that you know if she takes that over to Netflix and really creates an avenue for this world that she's created, because we're obviously seeing... That, that, we're bought uh, into the, the Shondaland. The like we Shondaland. believe mm -hmm. that this is what DC yeah. is like and in so, Vermont. Mm, yeah, but I, I don't and, know. That's the only thing. Yeah, I, can I think you know of. It, it, the the fact that she's ending Scandal, but not Grey's Anatomy, and not How to Get Away oh. with Murder. Right, That's she's just in the scandal. So I, I lean more towards she knows she's that. letting those other two shows stay with ABC. She's cutting Scandal so she can do something Take else it. with those characters. I hope she knows what she's gonna do with them. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. She says, Quinn isn't dead. Quinn ain't dead. Charlie is going to be in on it. Papa Pope is going to win. Olivia is going down. I, I'm, hey. You know what? They don't care. <laughs> no, I, I mean, do care. I, you know, I I don't want to see Liv die. No. I don't want to see Liv die. You can't kill Liv. I don't want to see Liv die. Like, that'll be You can so do a lot, but you can't kill Liv. If Liv dies. You know? So, the trailer for... Is it tonight's episode? Mm -hmm. Was the intervention. The intervention so, with who? The Olivia intervention. Mm, so Fitz okay. has all her people out to Vermont. He got he lured her out there because all she cares about is sex half the time. So he was like, come on out to Vermont, get you some. So she's out in Vermont. I'd fall for it. And then all her gladiators are out there like, look, you got a fucking problem. So there's an intervention that takes place. I don't think they're going to kill Liv. But I do They're trying to get her to put her white hat back on. Or at least yeah. take off this devilish madness that you got on. They got you off of your gladiators. Like, at least stop that. Um, you ain't got to put the white hat back on. Just stop killing your people. Um, and, but that's weird. There's no like, way to come back from saying kill Quinn. There's that's no way. That's so weird that you, that you moved away from what the character represented. Like, that just goes to show you desperation. And I just want to say this. I enjoy some of Shonda's work, but sometimes I don't think she has as skilled a hand mm -hmm. as her fan base thinks she, thinks, does. She thinks she does. I think that she got lucky. I think, you know what, listen, hey, hey, like that white hey. man that that loved those collard greens, right? No, 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 legit, right? Yes. Yes. There's this white man that loved those collard greens, right? 
is there a better way to prepare the collard greens than having fat back hog moths? Is is there a better way to make mm-hmm. collard greens? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Yes. Is there a better way to not have high sodium or high sugar to make food and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And grease and cholesterol? Yeah. And Shonda is that old black lady who her fat her arms is down here. And you like, oh, dinner getting ready to be good, boy. She at that pot. She now, nah, baby. <laughs> yeah, you know now. I go come on out here and never have these. And she don't know y'all. what she. Did. And she and you like, man, I'm gonna die of hypertension, but it tastes good. But it tastes good. You know what I mean? But it tastes good. And they don't know that you can have that same meal. You can refine mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. You get. You can prepare it Chef better. Chef Rainbow. Oh, you, hey, y'all <laughs> Chef mess, Rainbow. mess with my collard greens if y'all won't. Chef ooh, Rainbow. Ooh. Starla said, ooh, throwing salt, Rainbow. I'm not throwing <laughs> salt. I'm just, I'm, listen, they're better writers and so, she's just not one of them. Here's my question. Yeah. Do we think that Shonda got caught up in all of the attention and the the marketing that started to surround Shondaland? For example, The Limited had a whole clothing line that was centered on Perry, Olivia, Olivia Pope. Pope. Right. I feel like maybe Shonda got a little too wrapped up in that and lost sight of how this needed to actually, I like agree. what is her writing consist of. I agree, of. but you all, y'all know she lost her way with Grey's Anatomy. She lost her way before, before Scandal even started. They had to have a whole meeting after one year and say, yo, we, we doing too much. Like, Ooh, what year was that? Remember, they was doing all that weird stuff, and then they came back to, like, the, like, hey, we, did they do, like, a musical episode one? They did a musical episode. They did. They oh, was doing yeah, all of those so crazy real. gimmicks. And yeah, she, she gets caught up in the gimmicks real she easy. Caught That's up true. In the gimmicks. Tanisha, I forgot. Tanisha is a Grey's Anatomy scholar. <laughs> I forgot about we that. Need a, we need to go left and have a gray show. Um, she jumped the shark a little I think she right. gets you're, caught you're absolutely up right about that. in these gimmicks. It's like, okay, what color is Olivia wearing? So now we're going to determine what her personality is. Does she have the white hat on? Because when she's wearing white, then there's a little bit of good. Well, what is this red there? We're seeing she's shifting, and now she's in all black and completely evil. Shonda has gotten caught up in all these gimmicks, That's and she's true. not writing. Right. She's right. not right. Like, listen, I've always said... Uh, you know, God rest uh, the dead, uh, R.I.P. Kevin Spacey. But um, <laughs> House of Cards is the adult version of Scandal. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. It's like they're not even on the same plane. Not even close. They're not even on the same plane. It's like Twilight and Fifty Shades of Grey. It. What? Nick, that's like. That's like crack and heroin. What is you talking about? <laughs> it's just like, how do you want to die? Like, <laughs> like, like they're the same. Like, like you know, I, I, you know, I don't know. Now you didn't really mess me up with the uh, Grey's Anatomy and, and Fifty Shades, I mean, Twilight, uh, Twilight, Twilight, Boy, Twilight. Is this? Like, but you know, I I don't know. I think she. You're you're right. I don't want to say that I disagree. I just wanted to add that one part to it. But, um, you know, there are better written shows out there, and you know, I have fun with it. She has a popcorn show. Mm-hmm. You know, she look at the gimmicks with the music. Like, how much money did they spend just on mm-hmm. music? music right. Yes. Yes. Like people, that's why they uh, got rid of Harrison so they can stop paying for like James Brown. It was too much <laughs> money, man. Yeah, like, lots of was, money in Clarence. It was lots of money in that, you know. And and we had a good time watching Scandal. And 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 sometimes. When you when you're eating all that bad food, it shows up. You get hypertension. You get uh, rotten teeth for drinking all that Kool Aid. That peanut made, you know. Which one you want? Grape or red? Red. Peanut. Got a comment. Tanisha says, "Yes, I hated that episode of Grey. She keeps characters that people hate and kills off the ones people love. Yeah. She did. She killed off McSteamy, and I was done. She does it all. No, nah, but you got to think though about McSteamy." He wanted to move on to to films, like I so. I don't you, care. He was yeah, beautiful. but they, people people. Now started, is that McDreamy we talking about? Wait, which one was Steamy? McSteamy was the first what one. He died Eric in the Dang. plane crash. McDreamy is the he one who Sloan. wanted to move on to other acting gigs. Yeah, he was Sloan. Sloan was McSteamy. Y'all know a nigga's real name? Like <laughs> Eric Dane, right? Did I make Sloan that? Sloan was McSteamy, and then Patrick. Derek. 
Patrick Dempsey is McDreamy. Yes. Okay. So okay. you talking about McDreamy, not McSeamy. Look, man, I'm talking about <laughs> make shut the fuck up and move on, have a token smile, <laughs> and I'm ready to get the fuck up out of Shondaland, okay? Aw. Uh, so for those of us that are still, that are dedicated to seeing how it ends, mm-hmm. we got more comments? No. No, no. She's just clarifying as Mark, Mark Sloan. Sloan. Okay. For those of us that are still going to finish it out because we started and we need to see how our gladiators end up, we need to predict. So, in this last episode, we got Papa Pope delivering the baby. He he uses poor little man to yes, get him a did. gun. Yes, he did. That, that, was, that was smooth that as hell. Was, no, it wasn't. That was not smooth. This is a black man. The whole thing was unbelievable. Conning some able body, able mind white man. Into, no, this is what you're going to do. You're going to give me the gun. Then I'm gonna sign it over. Why does he do such a good role? <laughs> right. Just like, it's what? unbelievable. It was what unbelievable. Are you talking? And then you killed like it was all unnecessary. It was it was all these janky plot devices. It was so janky. So is his mental condition, because he has one, completely irrelevant to the plot. This this conversation, these monologues, these psychotic no, breakdowns that relevant. he's having with his dinosaur friend. Yeah. Where is that going? But I think it's he knows who that dinosaur is. Who is that dinosaur? He's being it was surveillance. It's he's being surveyed and he knows it. Yeah, it was and uh, he's, he's playing listen. It was Jake watching him when he's right. talking to the dinosaur. Right. And so I think that he listen you ever heard the term the long con? No. There's a long con, right? You got short cons, you know, where a quick little money hustle, something like that. But then there's a long con. And the long con is you get somebody in on the con and they make them believe that they came up with the idea and it's their whole and, and that they get so wrapped up that they give you exactly what you're looking so for. So is that anyway. what he's doing to Jake? He's doing that to everybody. Like this is Charlie a Quinn. Con. He's turning all her gladiators against her. Well, I don't know about that. That's where the interesting twist will lie. You know, me being we watch how many films together, me, you, Reggie, mm-hmm. Starla, we watch and I'm always like, Oh, this is gonna happen. That you'd be like it makes me so mad. I'm like, this is gonna happen. That's you'd be like, how do you know? I'm like, I'm a writer. Like and so that's what you know, I, I don't know. I think that it's a... I want to watch movies. I don't you, think you don't, I watch you're movies. always doing fabulous stuff that, that you can't hang out with us. You be in you Orlando. You can't sit with us. I went and rented a car and drove down six coastlines. Like, <laughs> what? How many coastlines do we have? That is a gaggy statement. Is that is. I had four bottles of wine open. Well, I never. My feet blowing in the wind. <laughs> no, that I was... was driving a car like this. <laughs> Unbelievable! Oh my gosh! So I don't know, like Shonda's weird writing. <laughs> what is it? We got two comments. Starla K. Mathis said, "Then he cried about how he was his best friend, talking about him shooting the white man." Tanisha says, "Shonda need to do what she does best and just kill everybody." <laughs> Blow <laughs> this! A, a nuclear. Listen, take it down. And, and, and here's so. Look, this is something I want to say, right? I'm so scared because we have seen series that have been beloved in horrible. It's, it's Seinfeld did not end well. No. Uh, people hated the ending Sopranos. of uh, Sopranos. People, I remember watching it in the screen. Where I said, "What the hell?" And I and I went online. Internet Movie Database had shut down, it, and that was Internet Movie Database. So HBO had shut down. People AMDB for the rest of us. Were immediately messed up. It's just some shows don't end well. You know, uh, MASH ended beautifully. Um, what? Oh, oh the, the Wire. The Wire had the. Oh my God, The Wire's ended was epic. Epic. I don't want to say because you're, you're I'm watching. I'm still on right? season two. Okay, just... you're watching. <laughs> but I, you know, I don't think. I just want Shonda to go out with a bang. And right now, it it's just not doesn't. Like it. It's not looking like it. I don't. I still haven't got the scene where, like, if you watch The Wire, and Reg, you know what? Listen, man. She when, like don't when say. Snoop, it. Don't Snoop say. Snoop turned her head. Oh, that was a beautiful scene. Listen, oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Like, like they both knew what time, and it wasn't ridiculous. It was real. Like that was real life. 
and she knew it was over. She knew what she had set up, mm-hmm. it didn't work out, and she was like, how my hair look, Mike? Yeah. Look good, yeah, Snoop. Real good. Like, I listen, and then the, 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 the one that just came out of nowhere, when one of our most beloved characters just got off, and it was yeah. like, that's how it would happen. Yeah. No, not None of the big players could do it. Mm-hmm. It was somebody that you never suspect, you never saw it coming, and that's how the streets are. And I don't think Shonda just has the skill and the nuance mm-hmm. to pull it off. We're, we're dealing with Chubby Quinn shackled in the basement. Lindsay Dwyer. Saying people. And talking. Why yeah. is everybody crazy? She oh, does that all the time. She does that. It's uh, always a hallucination. It, so if she wraps it up poorly, can she save herself if she does take her characters with her and do a bomb ass She only got to take them characters. She could save herself. She's going she's gonna to go into Netflix with an L. I think she's going to go into Netflix with an L. But I think whatever show she has planned, she, you know, like, She's like, oh no, chill out, chill out. I got y'all. We're gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna start over. I got I got something. She has to that trailer for that first show that she comes out with has to have us hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. She and got it in her because the first couple of seasons of Scandal brought it. Well, she got it the, in her. I think she, whichever show that she does is gonna look more like the first season because Netflix does not have 20 episodes. Right. No, it does that not. It's, it's going it to be not. short. It's going to be succinct. It's going to be to the point. And I think she's going to thrive there. I think yeah. her and Netflix are going to have a beautiful partnering of a relationship. Right. Because I think you brought up before that when did Scandal blow up? When that short season got on Netflix. When it got on when Netflix. When it got on Netflix. Oh. And they've been waiting. You remember? When That's when I started That's watching. When I watched it. That's when That's I started when watching. That's when I started watching. Everybody did because no, it was like a what, Reg was it a midsummer replacement? It was yeah. a, like weird. It yeah. was like a limited series yep. in the summer. Yep. Nobody caught it, and then people was like, "Yo, you did you watch that on?" That? No, turn it on you Netflix. And you can binge it. And you, everybody, I binge that whole. Thing. So was that the beginning of when Netflix took off? As this is how you watch TV, you binge. Is that, that what, was or was it already of, there? And then, no, 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 no. It was, it was one that one. And then it House was, of Cards. Was, no, no, it was uh, what you call it? It was Breaking Bad. Breaking, it was breaking oh, Bad. Oh, that's right. You're absolutely it right. It was Scandal and yep. Breaking Ooh, Bad. I binge that whole and, thing. And both shows <laughs> yeah. went through the stratosphere. And, and guess what happened? To which show maintains to this day its freshness? It's Breaking Bad. Like, we're still, mm-hmm. it's 10 years after it, mm-hmm. and we're still like, ah, Breaking Bad was the greatest, you know? Like, yeah. and, and nobody, we're not going to remember. Oh, Starla! Shout out. You know how singers that lose weight lose their voices? Maybe she lost the talent when she lost some weight. Listen. <laughs> that's real. That's real. That's real. She, once she got a little too cute. Oh, she shit. got too cute. She got too cute. She got a really good unit on. She got that she right got... unit for her face. She got oh. the right unit that, that oh. frames her face. Yeah. She cute, though. I, I, Teach I like me, when Oprah. She was fatter. I, you know, like Quinn. I, let me say something. Oh my I don't know God. what it is, oh but let me God. tell y'all something. Oh, shit. Chubby white women is magic. <laughs> I'm here to tell y'all, fam. Chubby white women is magic. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey. hey, girl. Hey. Shout it what your name is. How you doing, chubby white girl out there? Watching their skin. Wondering who's this loud, obnoxious black man. Look, Screaming. she gon' get and Excuse me, excuse me. And gyrating on camera. I'm the revolution. And... I'd like to be your next bad mistake. <laughs> so find me at the red room. Ooh, ooh. Rabo loves the chubby white girl. I love you. Between the ages of 25 and 35. Okay. Now, if you got that paper, though, we can extend it. I can open up that window of opportunity up until about 55 years young. All right? Okay. Let me go back and have a seat now. Because my dick is in this desk. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that hurts. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, now that that commercial break is yeah. over. Y'all should probably wrap this up. <laughs> I can't go nowhere after I put my dick in the desk. So that Rainbow can go and take care of himself and answer all the um, messages in his DM. I suppose we shall go and... Yeah, let's see these DMs. Yeah. No, let's not. No, let's. You go right. I'm, I'm not ready. I'm not old enough. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go actually watch Scandal now because I still care how this ends. 
and we will see you all next week to see if Shonda can manage, if she's going to come out the woodworks and surprise us, or if it's just going to fizzle out and break all of our hearts. I'm going with option B. Thank you. <laughs>